Hi, I'm Dr. John Ziegler, and today we're going to talk about doing a YouTube video on YouTube. And like the title of the talk, uh, you can have fun. This is something you can do for your practice. You can get a ton of referrals, and it's all free. And I want to show you how to do that. Today, when we do this uh, practice session here on how you make these videos, I want you to remember that we have a video gallery inside of www dot now I hear dot com where you can have your patients go to that website you will not have those patients see any brands of hearing aids they will not see uh, anything that takes them anywhere else and it will allow them to go to the video channel inside of Audnet which will keep them out of all the other things that are on YouTube so if you post your own YouTube videos which is fine uh, your patients, when they go to look for those, are going to be exposed to a lot of other uh, content that's out on YouTube, and some of it isn't particularly professional. So we wanted to create a way for you to go to our website, www.nowihear.com, and you can have your patient go to the video gallery, which is right on the front page, and they will see nothing but videos that are screened by me, uh, so that we are sure that none of the video content is inappropriate. Uh, they will be conducted by licensed audiologists showing their services, their experiences, their credentials, their business locations. And you'll be able to have your own uh, videos there. Uh, and we have a search engine there where you can place uh, into the uh, blank area your name. Uh, you can put in the name of your business and it will search and find the videos that you've produced. Uh, so that your patients can see uh, what activities you've recorded. Now let's talk for a minute about what those recorded activities can be. Certainly training films are appropriate, uh, marketing films are appropriate, uh, how you do things, uh, that can include balance tests, it can include hearing aid activities, how to put an aid on, how to clean and maintain hearing aids, batteries, uh, and you can show them the way you like to teach it. You can personalize it with your own patients, uh, with your own receptionist taking the pictures or, or a helper near you, that you could have uh, those patients see how you handle uh, the training aspects. So this is very, very personal, very local, um, and it's a, a brand new way to use the Internet. Now, Let's take a look at a camera. This is a digital camera that's used for uh, YouTube type exposures. This one's by Kodak. Um, Kodak makes good cameras, same with Sony. There are several uh, Nike, uh, Nikon type cameras. And all you have to do is take and open uh, the little door on the side. And in there would be what they call a memory card. So I'm gonna pull the memory card out. And this is a eight gigabyte uh, SDHC card for this kind of camera. Most of these cameras have one, two, four, or eight gigabyte cards. Um, I recommend a four gigabyte card. Uh, you can get one as large as eight if you want. Usually next to the card or somewhere on the camera there is a port where you would uh, plug in your cord that would go to the USB uh, port on your um, on your computer. So you would plug it into your computer and transfer the file into the computer and the little USB ports are on the front and, and usually on the back of the computers and what you want to do is create a file stick the film in there and then you can send the file to me at uh, John Audio 1 J-O-H-N A-U-D-I-O and the number one at AOL.com and when you send me a file uh, you're going to use uh, the www.youSendit, Y-O-U-S-E-N-D-I-T, and, .com, and that website allows you to put that film there and send it to the John Audio 1 at AOL uh, address. Now on the top of the camera, uh, it's a little bit difficult to see, but normally you have the camera where you would have the picture of the camera uh, for, for next to the place where you turn it on and everything. And um, that's where you would take regular still pictures. But we want you to place it uh, where it says movie. And 90% uh, of these cameras have a movie setting. You'll have to look on your camera to see if you have one. A camera like this can cost, by the way, less than $150. This movie 
icon, it looks like a little movie projector, is the setting you must have it on so that when you are recording a movie, you simply hold it and aim it at the subject, push the button to start the movie, it'll start recording, and so I can record you recording me, and uh, you simply push the button and it stops it, and then you have the short little movie recorded. And that is what you're going to send as a file to the computer and send to me, johnaudio1 at aol.com. Uh, through www.yousendit.com. Okay, now, when you create movies, it's important to do a few items. One is to stay about five to six feet, four to six feet away from your uh, patient or yourself as you're doing your recording. You want to be sure and dress professionally. You are an audiologist. I recommend a white coat, tie, look, looking good. You need to be sure and mention your location, how to get there, phone numbers, um, and other services, credentials, uh, and the unique aspects of your practice to attract uh, patients in. You can also do several other videos where you see a patient and that patient um, can see you fitting hearing aids, adjusting hearing aids, your demeanor, the way you teach somebody how to put an ear mold on, how you teach them to be able to care for their hearing aid, maintenance and cleaning, all of those kinds of videos. Most of the members are sending us anywhere from 10 to 15 videos of different subjects. Uh, different uh, areas of their practice. It can include balance activities, uh, tinnitus training, uh, central auditory processing, sound field testing, all kinds of things that would allow your patient to see the services you provide. And once they do, they're going to call you because they feel so comfortable with you. In my interview with Audiology Online, I remember talking to them about how it's kind of a blind date when you see an ad in the newspaper or you see a yellow page ad or something to, to respond to somebody and go to their practice. Well, here's an opportunity for you to show not only a picture, but you and the way you act in live motion with color and sound, the uniqueness of your credentials and services. So thank you very much. I'll see you later in the course. Take a look at the other YouTube videos that we're going to have for examples. And then go to www.nowihear.com. Click on the video gallery and see what, are, what all the other audiologists are doing so that you can see what's been done and create your own videos.